to the channel today is a today's an exciting day we got a lot of cool builds going on today we've got one in particular that is going to be the title and the thumbnail which i'm super super excited about we've already got some cool trucks posted up they got dropped off last night in the parking lot i got a new truck to show you guys we're going to vegas for 10 days in a month we've got some other trips planned beforehand it's my life has been nothing short but crazy and i'm blessed and i appreciate you guys for it and i'm excited to be back filming at the shop i don't really know how the day's gonna go like i said we got a lot going on and we're just gonna see how it goes so let's get this bro what there's one of them this is the Vini back here? no 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 it's got jtx's in the back yeah 2614 jtx's 2024 denali getting some jtx's and a mcgoy's bronze white black and bronze this one's gonna hit hit No. Yeah, bro. This is the part I'm excited about. Ooh, JTX Paradigm. That's freaking beautiful. It's uh, prismatic powders, some color of bronze. They did a beautiful job on the wheel. Shout out to RTP Customs in Atlanta. Sam and the gang at RTP kills it every freaking time. That is one of the most beautiful JTX holes I've ever seen. Shout out to Chris at JTX. Chris and my guy Greg out there at JTX. Absolutely killing it. Let's get a McGoy's kit too. Bronze McGoy's kit, black and bronze JTXs on a white black truck. I believe in the vision here. I believe in the vision. Getting our lift kit unboxed. 2814 JTX Paradigm. Nine inch bronze with the black accent. McGoy's kit, torsion bar drops upper control arms, front compression struts. It's getting rear traction bars as well. And that beautiful, beautiful front McGoy's cross member with the black accents. This is gonna look really nice. Colors match perfect, shout out to RTP. They did a great job on it. this was coming today and now I'm really excited 2022 silver limited what are you missing got him what kind of wheels is he doing Arkin oh come on what do you mean shout I'm out kidding. custom offsets I'm just kidding 2614 Arkon Lincolns I don't I even know what kind of tires these are stinking Lincolns 37 1350 tur tur 36 37 1350 26 Predator New Mutant New, new Mutant XAT 37s, 26s, 8 inch FTS. Is it a black FTS? Do we know? We'll find out. What is this over my here? Man, my man has been very, very good about stacking. What's this over here? Oh, he's wow. Load that thing up. Hope everything's in there. Boy, done dried up. Boy, done dried up. I hope everything's in there. That'd be nice, right? Click. Look. <laughs> <laughs> when you got six inch steps on an eight inch lifted off the ground, you know what I mean? He's been you know what I'm using saying? it too, bro. There's somebody has. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> we love you. We're just joking, I swear. These 22s on there, though. Can't lose. I wish I could put those on my truck. I do like the color match front end, though. I bet. Color match front end is a is a green light for me. I did get a new truck. My OG's on the channel. You guys will remember. We're gonna do a video on this in a couple of days though. That's all you get right now. So we should be finishing up our 2024 Denali build today with the Copper McGoy's kit. And no better end to the video than to have an FTS on a Ford. So you got complete opposites. McGoy's on a Denali, FTS on the F-150. Footage of being a Ford, right? Rare footage of Jake and a Ford. You know what I'm worried about? Cutting the mud flap or cutting the fender flare? I think it'll be all right. You know, you got some trucks that like to be cut and some trucks that don't. And this is definitely one that doesn't like to be cut. But I think it's going to work either way. If you pull the attention downward to the lift kit and to the wheels, you really don't see it as much. Trust the process. We got Edward Scissorhands back there. 
I believe in him. Yeah, he ain't the last down yet. Nope. This has got to go. We ain't had one come back yet. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's, that's going to go. I don't know why I just tested the tow hooks. Pretty sturdy. You ever see a person, you ever show a person a tire and he starts kicking it? Kicking it? it? That's a good tire. Grabbing the tread and shit. <laughs> he did bring five wheels while you're playing. 38s for the ladies. You want to say something to the ladies? Sorry, I'm taking ladies. Sorry, I'm taking. That's no fun. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. For the ladies. I got a little bit of a deal going on out here. These wheels are going on this truck, which I really wanted to look at. And this one's getting some new 26s, but it's currently got 2212 KG1. Looks like a Yaz and some Toyos with the McGoy's kit with the Fox shocks on it. If any of y'all saw my Tennessee video, y'all know that I'm definitely a fan of the fifth gens right now. And this truck is absolutely beautiful. Denali yesterday, all of our copper, your McGoy's upper control arms, you got the King, Reservoir shocks front and rear, RTP did the calipers, RTP did the powder coat on all the lift kit and they did a great job. I really like the way the copper and the black goes together underneath, it just, it looks really good. The accents on the McGoy's kit look beautiful in the black. Still gotta get the rear of the truck finished up today. We got an airbag kit coming in for it. So this will all get torn back apart so we can put airbags on it. And then once it's on the ground, it'll get traction bars today as well. So a lot to get done today. Hopefully the truck will get done today. Wheels and tires will get bolted on. And uh, I guess we'll see how the day goes. Goal today is to get the truck done, but we'll see. Finished up our F-150 today. Because of the silver, I feel like I might like this one a little bit better than the GMC. So this one, this one's gonna be in the same video as the as the white GMC. Yeah. I gotta just because I'm a Chevy GM guy, that one's gonna get the thumbnail. I'm just telling. You. Hey, just up front and personal I'm with you, right? Sure. This just to be I'm honest. With you. To be in the mix. I just oh absolutely. Anybody that comes through, especially the people that come from out of town, I'm always showing love, and it's always cool to me because I feel like I I stand in front of people and film, and then they get to experience it firsthand. It's, I guess it's different watching it. Like, I guess when you see the video versus like being next to me. When I shout out to my guys from Alabama what's going too. On, what's going on? Shout out to my, this, my dad's a drummer. He's been in bands before. So I got a lot of love for him and what he does. And I just, I could sit and pick his brain for hours about the music and stuff. Y'all y'all know I'm, a, I'm a, love, a lover boy at heart. You know, I like the little, the, the, la the ladies know what kind of music I like, you know? So I got, we got our 2022, right? I would say it's a 22 today, but somebody might call me out in the comments. 2019 F-150 Limited, all silver with the black and milled Archons. We got the nine or eight inch FTS on this one. We're gonna upgrade to some coilovers later on. Maybe some powder coat, but we got the beautiful FTS up front. 2614 Archon Lincoln with the black spike lug nuts. And then we did a 37, 1350, 26 Predator. AT, what is it, AXT, ATX? I always get these confused. For the price, the Archons are great. I love it. It's got a great look. It's one of the most iconic wheels in the game right now. I feel like Archon is really just, they got a good stamp on the industry. The silver and black is beautiful. And I just wanted to show you guys the final product. I know we had pulled it into a, to the shop earlier in the video. And again, just show some love to my guys yes, from Alabama for coming through. You too. Hell yeah, I appreciate you. And if, uh, if you guys like the Ford more than the GMC that I'm about to show you, make sure you guys drop a comment and show some love to my Ford people in the comments because I'm always trying to film more Fords. Y'all always like to give me crap that there's no Fords and Rams in the video. So today, this one is for you guys. Let's get this bread, baby.
so much to look at here. So obviously the F-150 was more of a just lift kit wheels and tires out the door. A lot more here to dissect. A lot more done here. But I think overall, more than anything, I think it turned out great. This is dope. I don't even know where to start with something like this. Start by handing me the camera. Step out there and freestyle it, my friend. That's how we do. I gotta do Bread Gang shirt dropping soon. Plug myself in there a little bit. Yeah, not good. Oh god, so sorry. Never gets old, does it? Is that Colton? I look like Colton. You look like Colton. 2024 Denali, 3500. I messed that up earlier, it's 3500, not 2500. Denali HD. Uh, we're gonna start with the obvious, right? Unnecessary. He was a little upset that we were in the way. Kind of like it though. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start with the obvious, right? Nine inch McGoy's lift. Oh, what color is this? Copper? Yes. Just copper. Copper gold. Copper gold. So, nine inch McGoy's lift. Copper gold comes as a seven. You add two inch torsion keys. We got the shims in the back with the rear traction bars. We did a gloss black. Not we, but on the truck, we have a gloss black accent piece, right? 2024 GMC 3500. Started real quick. Nine inch McGoy's lift. Oh, I'm using this as an excuse to lay down for a minute. McGoy's has one of the nicest cross members on the market for GM trucks, in my opinion. I love that straight out of the box. Comes with all the accent pieces. The billet accent pieces on the back with all of the screws on the front. You got your normally normally chrome McGoy's logo on the front. Absolutely beautiful. Again, we've done all copper gold with the black accents. I was super skeptical when this came out of the box, right? You guys saw earlier in the video how the sun was just reflecting off the color. I didn't really know how it was going to go with the white and black kind of design and layout of the truck, but I think it turned out really good. Whole lift kits, copper gold, rear traction bars, copper gold, upper control arms, and then RTP did some accent pieces. Why are you making that face at me? RTP did some accent pieces in the copper gold as well. Small accent pieces that really tied the build together very well, in my opinion. Toe hooks, toe hooks up front, and they did this really nice kind of just, I'm assuming it's painted or wrapped to match, which max matches almost perfectly. You got your McGoy's torsion drops with the black accent pieces right in the center of the truck. Your front compression bars have the matching accent pieces, which is cool to me. Again, comes out of the box from McGoy's that way. We've just powder coated them a different color. And then you gotta tie it together. It's almost like having a nice pair of shoes with the rest of the with the rest of the outfit. We got your really nice traction bars on the back as well. Black accent pieces, finish those up today. I think it color wise, 10 out of 10 for me. I was very, like I said, very skeptical of the color, but the color just tied together very well with the white and the black. 28 by 14 JTX Paradigm. Just the way that they cut their wheels, the designs, something about the JTX is on top of the, they, I just feel like they're on top of the game in my opinion. Those custom muck center caps, floating center caps, it's just, it's one of them, they look, even, even down to the screws, this color match with the copper. We got your windows, and then your inside lip of the wheel, copper gold, JTX logos top and bottom, and your accent pieces on the float and center cap. They did the calipers as well, and the train horn too. Train horn is copper gold as well. So I don't know if y'all can see that under there. Quick little, quick little peek under the dress under there. Really nice copper gold. Hooked him up with an airlift kit. He's got an airlift kit to go with his fifth wheel. Little little bit of little bit of accent piece under there on the on the uh, on the train horn setup. And we got King shocks all the way around with the reservoir, which is really cool. We don't get to do a lot of King shocks up here, so it's just a cool little accent piece, cool little addition to the build all the way around. 2814, 38, 13, 50, 28 Fury. Any of the bigger sizes, 24, 26, 28, 30, you have to be running Furies in my opinion. If you're not running Fury, Venom has a great tire as well. I'm not gonna lie, but in my opinion. Fury is definitely the go-to in the bigger sizes like this. 2814s, 38s, 9-inch McGoy's lift, all copper. We got the McGoy's upper control arms up front as well. Black accent pieces, and then again, you got your cool, your uh, your King Reservoir shocks up front. Absolutely beautiful. Stepping into one thing that I wanted to touch on real quick. Normally, these trucks come like a really nice gloss white. He's got a PPF film over the entire truck that gives it almost the satin color, which is really nice to me. So the truck looks almost satin white, but it's not. It's gloss. 
it's just got a PPF film on it, which obviously you're not going to tell on camera. But altogether, I think the build turned out really good together. 28s, 38s, 9-inch McGoys. The color combination on this is beautiful. I'm normally not even a fan of the black on top, but the black on top of this one, it just, it's almost like Rob's truck, almost like the Trail Boss, that, uh, that kind of voodoo blue Trail Boss that Rob has, if you guys know who Rob is on the channel. Just adds a, adds a little bit of a little different color scheme to it that I actually find that works really nice together. One of the biggest things that I was skeptical about on this truck is the cut job. I just posted a video on my channel about whether or not it's worth it to cut trucks to fit wide wheels and tires. And in this case, we've done a 26 by 12 on 37s on a nine inch with minimal trimming. And I definitely believe that cutting a truck like this is worth it to fit a 14 or 16 wide with 35s to 38s. It's definitely worth it. Now, obviously, it's gonna normally come down. You got your plug. There's just really no way to get around not having to cut most of this out. Rear side is easy. Take the mud flap off, do a lot of metal cutting behind there, push your fender liner back, cover it up with some door trim. It's super easy in the back. The front is the hard part we got because on the Denali's you have this really big just plastic piece. So you kind of just follow the body line down and you really just cut it as best as you can in my opinion. I think the guys back there did a great job on both sides to make it look as factory as possible with the cut job. I think RTP did a great job with this in terms of making sure all the colors matched. It's very hard when doing builds like this that have different just different styles of metal and different just plastic pieces and all of the colors actually match so almost identically your tow hooks your lift kit the wheels all of the accent pieces even down to the coloring on the amp steps on the side it's super hard to get different materials to match and i i literally can't find a discrepancy in the color on this even the train horns on the back which i'm pretty sure they don't use metal horns on the back i'm pretty sure those are plastic the fact that they all match so closely is just super cool to me because it's very rarely are they actually identical and i truly believe that they are in this case yeah you know my new truck over there no, no it's a good phone rest let me know what you guys think in the comment one i feel like i've all i've been a fan of the new chevy 2500 front ends over the gmz denali front end i don't know something about the what is it vader chrome and that what it was something about the the chrome on the front i don't know i like this truck that's really what i'm saying 28 14s 38s nine inch mcgoy's kit copper it's beautiful let me know what you guys think in the comments below it's our first 2024 denali on 14 watts and 38s so we live, do, do we live up to, I, I feel like to be this late in the year and it's our first one on 14 watts kind of, we need to step our game up a little bit. We need to step our game up. He's giving me eyes behind the camera. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys from, from coming. It's our second one of the day from Alabama, second one of the week. I love you guys for driving from out of town, spending time with us, spending your money, just allowing us to cut your truck up and drill some holes and slap a lift kit on and, Film it, put it on YouTube, and just I appreciate you guys. Really, what I'm saying with the with the customers in front of us, they they can hear me say it. It's not fake. It's all real. I love you guys for coming through and allowing us to do this and live out our dreams and build cool shit for you guys. If you guys, uh, hopefully, we can do more. I guess is really just what I'm saying. I'm losing my train of thought here. I love you. Let's get this bread. You're still here though. Click. show you all this truck before we left for the week we did this one last week it's got like a three to three and a half three to three and a half inch lift on this 2024 high country with 26 14s and 35s on a rough country three to three and a half inch lift now we did not cut this one it was cut before it got to us want to make sure that's clear but i just thought it was really cool that on such a small lift on this truck i mean technically you can make any wheel and tire fit if you cut enough but 26 14s 35s the artems and furies are a great look together i've always been a fan of the artem off-road wheels especially with the furies just something about the way they designed the lip and how the fury sidewall is always looks really good together to me but 26 14s 35s on a three to three and a half inch lift and just trimming it so you don't have to lift the truck all big and crazy to make it make it fit it actually it turned out really good it's got a really nice low and wide look to it and then we upgraded juan's truck over here this is a 2023 gmc 2500 9 inch mcgoy's lift 2414 kg1 galactics 
and the Nittos. Love the Nittos, love the KG1s. McGoy's kick is great. We did this one a couple months ago, but we just upgraded him today to a uh, set of upper control arms. So got that really nice, beautiful McGoy's front cross member matching with the black and milled wheels, matching upper control arms, matching front compression struts, and we got the matching traction bars back there. Juan's truck is the perfect example of a really nice lift without having to go big wheels either. 2414 Dittos. This truck is absolutely beautiful and it's a great daily driver. Is it